First off, guys, thank you so much, not just for making the movie and me enjoying it and all that sort of stuff, but me enjoying the fact that my co-presenter was sitting right beside me and literally for the whole thing was screaming, Great. shouting. Good, I good, got good. as much enjoyment with just turning left and going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had that reaction from most people who watched it? Because it's... Uh, I thing. sat next to my little brother yeah. doing that, which was great. Yeah, what age so, is he? So he's, uh, he's just turned 16. So yeah, that was fun. But there's a bit where I say, come on, we've got to get into the cellar, there's an yeah. air raid on. And he sat next to me going, no, stupid, <laughs> stupid, Jeremy, <laughs> stupid. Does anybody else live on the island? The place has been deserted for years. There it is, Heel Marsh House. So cold in here. Good. So Good. on set, when you're making those moments, do you know? Do you know that you're creating that tension? Do you know you're creating that that fear? Uh, to a certain extent, I think. But um, a lot of it's sort of put in after us. Yeah. It's, you know, the, the CGI and and the way it's cut together. So, but I mean, a lot of the places that we film were quite scary. So you're like, well, I'm finding it terrifying, and I'm. You just saw her. This old grumpy thing. Yeah. <laughs> they did that quite a lot. They'd bring the woman, the actress Leanne, playing the woman in black on set, and you wouldn't realise she was there. Yeah. And yeah. you just sort of be chilling out, and you'd be like, oh my god. <laughs> oh. With those moments as well of fear, what do you think in your head when you're trying to create that? Or are you actually kind of feeling that as you're, um, you're acting? It's quite hard to evoke a sort of scary thought in your head, I, mm. I found. Yeah, yeah. It's very really easy to do that first, <gasps> that first shot, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then to keep that fear up. Is, it's, uh, it's really tiring. Yeah. I love horror movies, but I only mm. love them because I go home and I cry for about 12 hours, and I'm like, <laughs> that movie affected me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I just love the fact when cinema does kind of leave you in that position where you're like, that actually did something to me. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Which it did to my co-presenter, Blonde. <laughs> yeah, Good. Well, well, like, Good. I was watching it with my agent's assistant, and he was terrified, and he called me up the next day, he said, I went home, I went to sleep, I woke up, the TV was on, and I walked in the sitting room and there was an albino cat in my sitting room and it turned on the TV. Connected? I was like, The cat okay, turned you on thought, the TV? Yeah, he like, somehow got it into cats my... Cats don't have thumbs. I know. <laughs> But I think he, maybe he thought the woman in black would brought the albino cat. I don't know. It affects him in a really I'm bad way. A third movie yeah. coming up. Oh, yeah. Albino cat's always scary. Yeah. Yeah.